guys and welcome back and welcome to a whole week I'm just calling it whole week because I've got so many videos coming your way this week and if you've been living under a rock then I'm sure you might not know it is cyber week leading up to Black Friday Monday all of that shebang and to be honest I feel like I'm exhausted with it already but I wanted to sit down and film this video as you can see I've got a bit of a new setup going on I feel like every video I say this and I keep moving around and trying to find my setup I feel like this is quite a good setup what do we think? Let me know in the comments down below. Is this going to be my YouTube setup? Do we need a bit more going on? Or I don't know. I'm just trying to figure it out where to film is best because at the minute I've got the light coming in from here, so it's a lot better. And these days at the minute it is just so dark and miserable. It's really hard to find some good light in. Obviously, I've got the ring lights so that is helping too. But I'm going to actually get into what this video is. As you can see from the title, it is an ASOS haul. And I haven't actually done an ASOS haul on my channel yet. So this is going to be new. But I do actually feature a lot of ASOS stuff over on my Instagram. If you don't follow me already, it's at all Rose. So you might have seen some of it there. But I've been getting some new bits in. So I thought I'd share them all with you. And obviously, you can shop it all down below and check out all the offers that they have on this week too. So I'm going to get into it and show you what I've got. So first of all is this jumper that I'm wearing and it is so nice. It's like this big chunky knit. I'll show you a bit up close so you can see the material. It's like a really nice knit. Like I feel like I've said this a few times on my channel before. I'm so funny about my knitwear. Like I hate when it's itchy. I hate when it looks cheap and this doesn't at all. Like it's really thick and chunky. It looks high quality and it's from the ASAS design collection and all of these pieces I'm showing you actually are from the ASOS design collection and I just love the pieces that they do on there. So obviously it looks like a uh, casual kind of grey knit from the front but it's all going on in the back. I'll kind of show you here. It's got like this big bow here at the back. See so big tie it here. I don't know if I've done it that well because I had to do it myself. Um, and then it's kind of like a cropped length so I'm just wearing it with my leather trousers and it comes to here which is nice and this is the size 8 so it normally I'd say I'm like a size 6 but I went with an 8 and it's actually quite oversized as you can see but I don't want to go too big so the arms are always too long on me but I feel like this actually fits really nice it's just like a nice chunky knit to wear and then it's got a bit of cute detail at the back so makes it a little bit different so I'll link this down below because it's a really good knit to have in your wardrobe and it's something that you can just like whack on like today I've got it with my leather trousers and it just looks really nice okay so next is this coat and I have actually already featured this in my coat haul that I did so I'll link that on the screen and I've worn this over on my Instagram I love it I think hands down that picture I posted on my Instagram and I also did a video it has to be like my favorite outfit that I've worn this like autumn winter so this is the coat it's called the ASOS Design Grandad Coat. Sounds weird, but I get what they're on about with the Grandad style to it. It's like a big, basically, oversized blazer. I will show it you on in the picture how I wore it, and I also did a little video, so you can see in the video how I styled it up and like how it looks like on, because I just love this. It's like really oversized. I actually got it in a size 10, because they had low stock in it. Normally, I'd have probably got the 8, but the 10 is a really oversized but I like it because it's just so big and boxy and it looks really cute with like knit dresses so yeah I've got this it comes in and out of stock online and I've also seen it online in the sage color it's like a khaki green and I really want to get my hands on it so I'll link that down below for you guys too and if you do get your hands on it please let me know so I can also order it because I really want it I just love this jacket it's just so classic it looks so chic on and you can just whack it over any outfit. And so on the topic of coats, I'm going to show you this. Take two. I'm going to show you this coat. It's so slippery. It keeps going out of my hands. I feel like when I'm holding it up, it's looking like nothing. But I'll put a picture on the screen of what it looks like on the website. And obviously, I'll show it you on as well. Because it's got this belt that wraps around it. And as you can see, it's like the faux fur here and then it's like the leather so it's the contrast of the different materials which actually had me sold I love that I love like mixing up my textures and again this is kind of like a big coat jacket when I say a coat slash jacket it's because it's not like a long one so it comes like just below the bum and I love this style because they're so easy to layer over knit dresses which is typically what I wear a lot of in the winter but yeah I'm going to show you this on so you can see it but I basically got a size 8 in it because I knew on the website, I think it said oversized somewhere, if I remember rightly, on the website. So I knew it was going to be big. So I went for a size 8 and it actually fits really well. And obviously because of the belt that goes around the middle, it brings you in at the waist. That's really flattering as well. 
and I'm pretty sure they have like full stock of this jacket in um, online as well so I'm gonna link it down below hopefully you can get your hands on it and I'm off to Paris this weekend so I'm hoping to wear this and shoot it so I'm sure you'll probably see it over on my Instagram how I'm gonna style it up okay so I'm sticking with the coat and I'm gonna show you this other coat that I've got it's so hard to show you here but it's this pink trench so i'm just going to show you on see how it looks because i always love a good trench in my wardrobe i've got a khaki one and i had like a pink vinyl one that i got in the sale from top shop but i saw this and it looked really nice like the color it's like a dark rose um so i thought this would look really nice actually again laid over like a knit dress or like leather leggings just a basic top and this and i think you could just layer it up with like a chunky knit underneath or even put like a hoodie with it and just like style it down and i'm actually excited to wear this in paris i feel like i'm going to take it with me and style it up but i like how it's got the sort of military style to it it's got these buttons on the top with, and then obviously ties in the waist with this belt so it's really flattering again and i got this if i remember rightly i got it in size eight so yeah mainly all the coats that I show you are a size 8 because normally I'm a 6 so I've gone up one size and it actually fits fine and obviously it's a bit long on the length but that's how it's meant to look. I'm just a little bit short. I think I'm like 5'3". I can't remember the last time I measured myself but that's how it looks on me anyway. Okay so as you probably have heard me rambling on, I love my knit dresses and I saw this online and I've ordered it but I'm not going to lie, I don't know if I'm feeling it on. I feel like it's not thick enough for me like it's quite a like thin material and the colors kind of like a cream as you can see but it's got this kind of weird pattern going through it and a bit of like yellow so I feel like I'm not 100% sold on this but I wanted to show it you on anyway because obviously knit dresses are definitely my style and again it has this belt that ties you in at the waist which is quite flattering and I just think it's something that you could layer up but I feel like I'm not sold on it yet but as you can see this is it on and I'm wearing it again a size 8 just for preference and I'll link it down below and if you like it then please let me know in the comments and if not let me know because I'm a bit unsure on this one and then I feel like no haul of mine is complete without comfy wear, lounge wear or PJs so I've got this comfy set to show you I've worn this a few times just like out for brunch going locally on a Sunday around here um, and then I just wear it with like my big chunky trainers and then a coat over the top so I've got these joggers it comes as a set so it's like a kind of like a camel cream colour, it's the joggers and I should have probably sorted this out before the video and the hoodie, so it's a matching set, I love a matching set, I love when like a co-ord and it matches really nicely, the colours together so this is just such a good, again, kind of basic to have in your wardrobe, shove on some comfies, put a coat over the top and you're done so I got this actually in a size 8 again the only thing I find with the joggers is they come really high waist and it kind of put me off because I didn't, I obviously like high waisted things but they do actually come like quite up your crotch so you have to pull them high and then just have the hoodie like big over the top. So I think I would have probably got a size 6 in the joggers if they did it separately, maybe a 10 in the hoodie but because it's sold as a set you can only get the one size but I just think this is great to have in your wardrobe and just comfy kind of set to like travelling or just when you're having like a day around the house. So I'll link it down below so you guys can shop. It. and following on from the little set that I had I've also got some pajamas to show you I am going crazy for pajamas at the minute I mean I feel like girls are like yeah I collect like bags I collect shoes I feel like I collect pajamas I just love them like I love being comfy and especially now I'm just like hibernating the house because it's so cold outside this is what I live in so this is the pink top and it comes as a set with the pink trousers and they're quite like not long but they're floating on the bottom I don't like when it gathers at the bottom so anything like this I love so I'll obviously show it you on I've worn this already quite a few times I love it it's just so comfy and cozy but I like the fact it's thin like it's not like a thick material so you don't get hot and bothered in it and you can still wear it to bed and then obviously wear it around the house is like loungewear so I obviously the colors like I like baby pink too so that's had me sold and then I got it in a size 8 and it fits perfectly as you can see on so last but not least I got a few accessories from ASOS I just feel like they do really good accessories I got this little beanie hat with the little pom-pom I thought it was really cute so I'll quickly show it you on. I mean, I haven't even done my hair today. I've just come out of the shower and blow dried it. But this is the hat on. I actually wore it with um, my Zara wraparound coat and this yesterday ice skate. And it looked really cute, actually. So yeah, I love a good beanie. Keeps you warm. It's practical. And then I like this little pom-pom on it. So I think they did it in another colour as well. But I'm not sure. But I'll link this one down below. So obviously you can shop it. And I'm sure the other colours will come I up. I got these long socks. Look how long... 
um, because I just always wear over the knee boots. So these are just perfect to have put into the boots and I think they were under £10 if I remember rightly. So I'll link them down below. ASOS are just really good for like accessories and stuff like that. So yeah, that is my whole ASOS order guys. The bag is now empty and I'm not gonna lie, like I said before, I have ordered a few more bits from ASOS. I saw like a really cute glitzy dress, some other pyjamas and a few other bits that I've ordered. So they didn't come in time for this video but I thought this was enough to show you anyway because I wanted to keep it quite short and sweet as I've got a few videos coming this week and I didn't want it to be like overhaul. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like and I'll come back with a lot more ASOS hauls because like I said, I haven't done ASOS hauls here on my channel before. So if this is something you guys like to see more of, I would definitely come back with a lot more videos. Um, but yeah, until next time guys, you're going to see me a lot sooner than you think, than normal. Obviously I'm not posting just on Sunday this week. There's going to be another video coming your way very soon. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't miss all the hauls this week. But until next time guys, I will see you then.